I've had a lot of people this month asking about irritable bowel syndrome, bloating, uh, indigestion, food intolerances. And when dealing with digestive issues, it's always best to work effectively from the top down. The first step is we have to digest our foods well. And the simplest way to find out if you have a problem is simply to take a digestive enzyme. And, you know, then if suddenly your bloating and digestion is gone, you know that that is the problem. Uh, the second step is to get the balance of bacteria in the gut right. And probiotics, I'm not convinced you need to take them every day. Um, but if, for example, you, you take a course of probiotics for a couple of weeks or a month, that should restore uh, you know, the balance. Now, what happens is that our digestive tract, which is very regenerating very fast, can get damaged. It can get leaky. And that means more tendency towards food intolerance. Now, while you can heal a leaky gut with glutamine, you can buy glutamine powder, for example, um, what happens is if the immune system has learned to react against the food, then you have a food intolerance. And while the conventional allergy involves a certain type of antibody called IgE, uh, which causes a big and strong reaction, that, by the way, is what you get tested for medically if you have a skin pinprick test, with conditions like IBS, it's actually a different kind of food intolerance that seems much more involved, which is called IgG. And this can be tested for uh, with a home test kit that you buy. Uh, the lab I like is called yorktest.com. You prick your finger, you send off the blood, and then they'll give you a report showing you what you react to. And the nice thing about IgG reactions is that they are not for life. So if you can then avoid uh, the foods that you react strongly to and rotate the ones that you react mildly to, and by the way, the lab will give you all this information, you can actually unlearn these food intolerances. Um, in my supplement range, I have a product called Digest Pro, which is digestive enzymes, probiotics, and glutamine. So taking that with each meal is a, you know, is a very, very good step. That, finding out what you are intolerant to. Some of the most common foods are wheat. Uh, people think it's to do with the gluten, and maybe it is. Uh, oats, for example, are non-gluten. But a recent study fed people an ancient and, and much more uh, genetically simpler form of wheat called kamut, uh, and IBS symptoms got much, much better uh, while they got worse on wheat. So it might be that we've messed around too much with wheat and now our immune systems don't recognize it and, and react against it. So it may be gluten that's a problem, but it may actually be modern gluten that's a problem. So you might want to try Kamut. So those are the directions to go. My book Improve Your Digestion has a 30-day Improve Your Digestion plan, including these uh, these approaches and also talks about other conditions like the inflammatory uh, uh, bowel conditions such as Crohn's, how to reverse diverticulitis, how to deal with constipation and so on. So wishing you a very good digestion.